Good morning, everyone. Sean with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Whiteboard finance time, yeah! We gotta get ourselves prepped up for what is bound to be another huge release in just four short days. And we're gonna talk about all the numbers. We're gonna go through all of the metrics here. We're gonna get you guys all ready and prepped up for the release of the 2019 West Point San Antonio Mission. I think I got that right. San Antonio Missions, <laughs> National Park Quarter. Uh, as you guys know, uh, the U.S. Mint is releasing five coins this year, in which the first three have already been released with the West Point Mint Mark. Of course, they're all minted at the West Point Mint, silly. First time ever that a circulated coin with a West Point Mint Mark is finding themselves out in pocket change. And of course... Up to this point, it's really setting the coin collecting world by fire. So we're going to talk about some of the most important numbers that you see here. Uh, they all look like random numbers, but they all have a place in the conversation of this newest release. This is coin number four, by the way. The last one, which is the River of No Returns quarter, is slated to release in November. All right, This one right here is due to drop. August 26th of this year, four days, all right? Two million pieces will be, will be produced. That's right, produced <laughs> for the San Antonio missions. Of course, there's a total run of 10 million pieces. And if you think that's a lot of coins, no, it's not a lot at all. Considering the, the fact that Regular Philadelphia and Denver minted coins that we traditionally come across are minted into the hundreds of millions. All right, so by comparison, this is a small number, less than 1% of the total amount for both the Philadelphia and Denver minted coins. Um, it's crazy, okay? So that's why, that's why the first, say, so million, that's why that the first examples sell for between one and $200 raw. So raw examples, I'll put that right here. All right, one to $200 in the first 10 days, sometimes even 14 days. So you are, you are expected, if you're able to find them, to fetch somewhere in the one to $200 range. Traditionally, eBay is the preferred format of selling these coins within the first 10 days of release, okay? So, right off the bat, we have kind of an expiration date for this kind of money, 10 days. Sometimes I'll stretch out a little bit longer than that. But what people are doing is that they're buying up coins, all right, in the hopes that they could get them graded at the highest possible level, all right? So these are the main kind of metrics regarding this coin that you ought to know about before its release, okay? Just to recap, releasing August 26th, they're going to be inserted randomly into bags of not only Denver but Philadelphia minted coins. Two million pieces will be produced of this West Point San Antonio missions. You'll want to look for that little tiny little W on the obverse of the coin. That's the side with George Washington. In addition, these sell on the secondary market between $1 and $200. It's great quick money if you're looking to make some. And there are people that make quite a bit more than this if they find more than one. And that's going to occur within the first 10 days. All right. But however, there is one hidden number that may not be obvious on this board here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and help you, help you guys out. So... We go ahead and kind of eliminate some of this information here. There you go, 2,000, although it's red down like this. This has quite a bit of meaning. This is something that maybe not a lot of people know about or just don't care about, but in the context of the overall program and this particular, particular release, if you're looking to make a large amount of money, this means a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase a little bit of this. I'm simply just gonna go ahead and, 
All right, so I'm putting a little comma there and a dollar sign. $2,000, PCGS, the one of the big grading companies and third-party authenticators has put a $2,000 bounty on the first certified 2019 West Point quarter of that type. In this case, it's $2,000 for the San Antonio Missions coin. So the release date is the 26th. Let's say you found one on the 26th. You'll probably want to send this out to the graders, okay? Now, there's a lot more at stake than just the $2,000. As a matter of fact, the last few releases, there have been a few coins that have arrived at PCGS headquarters in which they split this bounty. So maybe the bounty is the less important aspect of this whole thing. But let's say you were successful in getting what is the first discovery. I'm gonna put ATT, which is attribution on the PCGS label, all right? That's kind of a big deal more so than the $2,000. Here's why. Let's say this first discovery specimen that you had sent out to PCGS comes back mid state 67. That's a pretty good grade. And let's say let's say one comes back mid state 66 as well. So, the coins nowadays are produced at high enough quality that this is very likely. Okay? There have been a number of the first three releases of the West Point Quarter that have graded under these two different grade numericals right here. Of course, ideally, you want it to be the highest grade possible, right? I mean, who would not want that? But the last confirmed example of a first discovery attributed coin of what I believe is the War in the Pacific, which is the third release of the West Point Quarter program, sold for nearly $6,000 all by itself at Mint State 67. It actually sold on great collections. The other one I believe is the American Memorial. I believe was a 67, sold for like $5,600. So in the perfect world, okay, there's two different kind of maybe distinct money-making opportunities from the program. You can be the type of person that can find that first example, send it off to PCGS, because of course they got that huge bounty. You collect however much money is left over, let's say there's two or three of you that make it at PCGS headquarters at the same time, to have the coin certificated. Was that even a word? <laughs> Believe me, I'm not making up my own words. I'm, I'm not that bright in that way. But let's say it comes out in state 67, you make somewhere between like five and six thousand dollars in addition to this. Right out of the right out of the gate, you're talking about seven to seventy five hundred dollars of just pure straight up profit. The grading fee for these quarters is a one-time promo for as long as the West Point quarter program is out there of only $20. The problem is you have to pay the membership fee. I think the cheapest price is 79. So we have $20 submission fee and then 79. So it's gonna cost you $100 to send this coin out. Probably send it just in a priority mail uh, envelope uh, in this case. Uh, I probably wouldn't do registered mail. Uh, you might, I, I don't know. I mean, you gotta cover yourself for you know quite a bit of money here uh, at the end of the day. But let's say if you went down the grading route, okay, you collect however that net amount of money is right up here for the bounty, okay, you go ahead and consign it to Great Collections. They have sold the first three first discovery highest graded coins thus far. I would venture to guess that this is also going to, you know, apply in some way for the San Antonio Missions Quarter. So if you're looking to possibly on the 26th, sit around, eat cream of wheat, or eat Doritos, and then fold the bag inside out and eat that too. Um, I would probably go out to the bank and buy some coin, okay? Now, where these have been coming up in, because I've had this question a number of times brand new, 
have been in Loomis rolls. Okay, this is not a Loomis roll, but if it did, it would have Loomis printed in large letters on the side. And um, it might just be that the Fed Reserve Banks have contracted with Loomis for the initial kind of like drop of these new quarters, but they have been coming out in Loomis rolls. They're not gonna be in NF String or Dunbar or whatever other companies there are uh, regarding the sort of these coins. Uh, but Loomis is definitely the way to go. So this is option A right here, okay? Collect on that bounty, sell it on great collections. At the end of the day, we're hat, fappy, hat, fat and happy campers <laughs> or cappy hampers. I, I don't know. It's uh, still early, but that's option A, okay? All right, let's talk about option B. Just buy so much dang quarter boxes, okay? So go through quarter rolls like a madman the first seven to 10 days of release. Sell the coins outright on eBay. Keep in mind there's fees involved, seller's fees for between that 100 to $200 range. You know, after that seven to 10 days, after the 10 day kind of like period is where things begin to kind of like tail off a little bit. The market's starting to settle. There's more pieces coming out to the market. And then you're gonna be looking somewhere in the 50 to $75 range, 14 to 21 days out. And then after that, it's just gonna continue, just continuously bottom out into the like the kind of like 20, to $25 range per coin. All right, so there have been a number of people that I've personally witnessed that have taken full advantage of this, this kind of like uh, introductory period of each of the coins at the one to $200 mark and have made many thousands of dollars. Okay, so that's an option. If you want to do that, that's probably kind of like the easiest money to be made right out of the gate. If you did not want to deal with the whole PCGS thing, and you just want to pop, 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 you know, just pop these things out like they're going out of style, do it this way. This is probably my preferred method in all of this. There's gonna be a tremendous market for these the first week, week and a half, all right? So let's say, theoretically, let's say you found 30 coins within the first couple days, okay? Maybe you didn't quite make that whole PCGS bounty thing. I mean, you could play both sides of the coin, guys. Send one coin out to PCGS, pop it with the first discovery, and then sell a whole bunch of them a la carte on eBay and make ten to $15,000. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. And this is a conservative number, this 30 count right here, because I've seen people list batches of like 50, 100 of these West Point quarters and have made a killing. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm like, Sean, why don't you just hog all the, you know, uh, the secrets? <laughs> it's no secret. We've been through three releases already and this has been the trend, okay? You either have one of two options. There is no option C in all of this if you're trying to score some easy money. It's like finding a $100 bill with each one that you find, all right? It's insane. Now, the market will drop like it has been for the first three releases for both not only the raw coins, but the graded coins as well. Graded examples, mid-state 64s are selling for under $100, easy. The easy money is made the first 10 to 14 days on this program, guys. So what you gonna do about it? You need to get things in order. If you have the type of bank where they're the, you know, it's like, hey, you have to come in and you have to order these boxes. I would suggest you guys do it today. Today is Thursday, the 22nd. You have four days. It's gonna drop Monday. It's gonna drop like, like a big old hailstorm in the middle of Oklahoma. I, I mean, it's gonna be huge. And it's gonna be a way, if you guys are looking to pick up some 
early, I guess, Christmas money, you got bills to pay, you got other habits that you need habitating, all right? Right here, San Antonio Missions Quarter, 2019 West Point comes out August 26th, 2 million pieces, easy, easy money. Yeah, that's all we got.